Hi and thank you for joining me today. My name is Laura Mackey. I'm a UK independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I thought I'd share with you a video on how I made this card which features on my blog today. Um, the card is made using the soon to be available come the 3rd of August, no sorry the 4th of August, Gnome for the Holidays. Um, which is this cute little set that features these adorable little gnomes and I thought I'd just share with you how I made this card featuring the background and just colouring in these little gnomes and their little house. So yeah, right, <clears throat> I've pre-cut um, my card bases and my layers and stuff and all the measurements for those are on my blog. Um, blog link is in the description below, which you can find that once you've watched the video. So I've cut everything ready. I'm using just normal Stampin' Up! Whisper white cardstock, um, some silver foil sheet and then a Misty Moon lay layer, Misty Moon layer? <laughs> Misty Moonlight card base. <laughs> Excuse my, um, getting all confused. I'm then going to use... Um, the same Whisper White cardstock again um, and I'm going to stamp my images first in Memento ink. I have a, this thing, I always stamp me in images first so then I give them nice time to dry um, before I colour them in and I keep my scraps of Whisper White so as you can see they're a bit obscure shaped um, but I keep random off cuts like this for perfect little images like this that are going to be hand cut out. So I'm just stamping those in Memento ink. And then once these are stamped, we will set to colour our background. This is just while I'm doing the background, these have ample time to dry. So there's all my images stamped. I'm just going to lay them out of the way. Now to make the background, I've used three Stampin' Up! ink pads. Um, being Balmy Blue, Misty Moonlight and Highland Heather. I'm going to open those all up, clear the deck. Somehow I always end up with lots of stuff. And then to create this background, using the ink pad, I then use the Stampin' Up! sponge rollers. Um, so if you're familiar with a brayer, um, brayer I always found a little bit tricky to use. Like it'd end up very liney um, and I'd never get really the desired effect I was going for. But with the sponge rollers, you get a really nice smooth finish. Um, a lot easier with these sponge sponges so let me show you so for to start off I loaded up I'm loading up in the balmy blue ink and is what I, I didn't want to achieve kind of a straight line I wanted to kind of achieve so it looks like it's kind of a little bit of a hill I guess so just add in a nice layer of balmy blue I'm not worrying about changing my sponge. I'm keeping the light colour, so the Highland Heather next. Let me just move the balmy blue out of the way. And then I'm just sort of using the edge of the brayer this time, just to come in and add a purple tinge. And just keep working that backwards and forwards. And then lastly, I'm going to change my head now because I'm going to go in with the Misty Moonlight. Now this sponge I've used for Misty Moonlight for Night of Navy. Um, so I'm just trying not to mix dark with light, but I do mix dark and dark. So just again, I'm just using the edge of the roller just to build up that darker tone at the bottom. I'm 
and just building up the colour. Just working that sponge. And then I'm going to change back again to my other roller. I'm going to put the lid now on the Misty Moonlight so I don't accidentally dip into that by mistake. I'm going to load up with some more Highland Heather, so the purpley tone, just to bring that back in, like so. And then I'm going to go in with the Balmy Blue. If you prefer not to mix your sponges, you are you can you know use di use different sponges. But there, I'm quite happy with that. I'm not going to add any more. So that is the sponged background. So I'm just putting them inks out of the way because otherwise it could get messy. So oh no. Didn't mean to do that. My fingers are a bit, <laughs> a bit inky. Hey ho! It's the nature of it being stamped. I think. So now I'm just going to add in. If you notice on this card, I've just got the pebbles just on the base card. So I'm just going to just ink up the bottom of the stamp and position where I'd like my little house, which is going to be there. And I'm only, I am sort of just pressing down on the lower part of the stamp. I don't need the whole image. I'm really annoyed about that. Can you see that? My whoopsie. I love my background, but I don't like that um, flick mark there. I'm gonna use an aqua painter just to flick some water on my background. Flicking the water on will just, my aqua paint is getting quite empty, but I don't know if you can see there, it just starts to draw some of the ink away. Can you see that okay? So it sort of looks like a little bit of a mottledy, almost a bit speckledy background. So now that's our background complete. Oh, I'm actually gonna just stamp the, the greeting on the bottom. Let's just stamp that on. I hadn't mounted that up. I'd forgot that piece. Oh, wrong size block. I thought I'd got everything out. That box not overly the right size, but we'll just mount it up like that for quickness. Um, this greeting said there's no place like gnome for the Christmas season. I'm just gonna line up my card base and I'm gonna stamp that down the bottom. I'm not sure how straight that's gonna be. Oh, that's not bad. I'm going to have to find something, aren't I, just to disguise my whoopsie, but there. Right, so I'm going to set that to one side now. You can see now it's starting to dry that ink. The, the water's really pulled up that ink there, so we've got that kind of mottledy look. Set that in, that, setting that to one side. I can now colour in my little gnomes. So I've coloured in the gnomes with Stampin' Blends. This is Old Olive Dark just to colour in the mistletoe. And then I've coloured him in with Poppy Parade, light and dark, and Pool Party, light and dark. His beard, I gave him a light smoky slate beard, and all I did was just highlight, I didn't colour all the beard in grey, I just added some light flex with the light pen and then use my colour lifter just to pull some of that ink so it just looks, looks he's sort of white with hints of grey <laughs> bless him I also used for their faces, I use pool, um, not pool party, they're not blue, they're not um, Smurfs, are they? I use petal pink, dark, and again for her face, I used petal pink, dark. Let's go back to him. I, can't, I This is what I did when I was using one colour on one, I do the other colour on the other one and vice versa. Let's just do the, the, the bauble I did grey. So this is the dark marker, just taking it round the edges. 
and then blending over the top with the light marker. And I did leave a little section which was white because I then went in with the colour lifter and just coloured on those harsh edges and just pulled all the ink in. Okay, I gave him red slippers, red stripey slippers at that. And then he's, oh, I'll do his hat while we're here. And the bow. So this is all in pool party dark. And then to cover it, colour in his hat, I did him stripey. So laying down the dark ink first. And then going in over the top and blending with the light. It's just blending those two colours together. I like little circular motions. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the dark pool party. And I also did his little coat and pool party too. And then I'm going in with the light marker over the top. Just blending over that dark. And then the same again here. And that's him coloured and then this little lady I coloured her tree in old olive so just sort of highlight in the outline and then over the top of the um, the layers of the tree and then over the top in the light. Just being careful not to colour in my baubles. I like to colour in with the Stampin' Blends, but you could use the Stampin' Pencils, watercolour pencils. Um, you could use ink and a blender pen. You could watercolour it with an aqua painter. But I do, I I seem to get always get a nice result with the stamping blends. Not being an artist or very good with colouring, but I always seem to be pleased with my results. It's so just colouring it in the holly now. And now the berries. When I did this the other day, I coloured in the berries green. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, her hair is gonna be in cinnamon cider. I'm an auburn girl, so this is kind of the closest I get to my auburn hair. Well, auburn and quite grey too these days, but we won't talk about that. I've realised I missed out her neck there. Now, the um, the baubles and the tree um, and everything, I just picked out random colours from my Stampin' Blends and just coloured them all in. So I'm using there a little bit of Magenta Madness. Um, I've used Mango Melody. I'm gonna go in with a bit of Blackberry Bliss. So it's a really colorful tree. I'm gonna use a little bit of um, Night of Navy. I'll do a couple of Night of Navy. And then I'm going to use, oh, decisions, decisions. Oh, I'm going to use a bit of Poppy Parade as it's out. So you can either go multicolour bauble, um, baubles or you can go just one colour. Um, her little dress I did in Poppy Parade. Now, I appreciate I've used lots of stamping blends here. If you don't have all these, you can... You don't have to colour all your baubles a different colour. You could do your baubles all red. Um, 
I'm lucky enough to have all the Stampin' Blends. Um, but you could you could mix different colours. You could get away here with a green, a poppy parade. Um, you could even give her grey hair so you could just get away with a smoky slate. You don't need all the Stampin' Blends. I left her pinny um, just white. And then I'm going to give her little grey shoes. Okay, so that's those two coloured. Um, the oh, let's not forget our little. I'm going to come back and come and do this now. I'm just going to colour in my little. Oh, not this end, the fat end. I like the thinner end. So I'm just going to colour in these little pebbles. So just add in that. <laughs> That's all I'm going to worry about on that for now. Um, then to the little house. How cute is this little house? I'm not going to worry about blending the leaves. I'm going to just do them all in dark. Same with the grass. I'm not being overly careful with my colouring either. <laughs> I'm going to put a little hint of a yellow glow between the from the panes of glass. Oh, and I'm going to colour in a bauble while I'm there. So in a yellow. I kind of, whatever I coloured in the baubles on the lady's Christmas on her hat, I kind of coloured the same for these. It's kind of the wrong end. I didn't really want the big end. Um... <clears throat> I need a little bit of blue because I put the blue back. A bit of night of navy. And then I'm going to do a green as well. The little caps on the lights I also did in smoky slate. And then to colour in the main... Um, main bit of the house I used soft suede light and dark we just moved some of these out of the way because I seem to be getting a little bit snowed under I'm just going to give it a grey doorknob and then I'm going to go in and layer down my dark first so this stamp is, is nice that it's kind of, all these little lines give you your darker areas. So I'm just laying down some dark ink over the top and down the edges. And adding dark round by the grass. I think this is going to be my longest video to date. So that's all my dark laid down. I'm now going to go in with my light, working over the top of the dark, circular motions. And then again from the Mix blending over the top of the dark. Round. done with the colouring and then I'm just going to go back in and add some just a little bit of highlights I'm just going to do around the window frame and just add in 
on some of these little lines a little bit more dark. Especially on that sort of knotty bit there. Right, and then I'm going to fussy cut these out. Um, my scissors. I'm just going to so fussy cutting this out. I'm just going to cut kind of a little bit jaggedy across there. I should have done a bit of Blue Peter here, shouldn't I? And um, had ones I made earlier. Cutting off them pebbles because obviously we have already stuck them down lose that piece in the bin so I'm going to go ahead and stick him down so I stuck this the trunk down on dimensionals one two three I do have a habit once I know where things are gonna go I stick them down I don't hum and heart they just stick them down just cut the little lady out I don't think my fussy cutting this time is going to be quite as good because I'm trying to be really quick, conscious of you lovely lot watching. And I don't want to have this be like the longest video ever. <laughs> don't forget, um, if you like what you see with this card, to upload, uh, not upload, sorry, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and then you will be notified when I upload another video. So nearly here with this one. Just a little bit more fussy cutting. Aren't these gnomes just so cute? I was a huge um, hashtag Elfie fan from last year. So um, as soon as I saw these little gnomes, I was like, e I need those, definitely need those. So the catalogue goes live. Um, you may be watching it and go, Laura, what are you already on about? This is already available. But when I'm making this right now, it is the 24th of July, 2020. Um, and it doesn't actually go live until um, it's available to everyone until the 4th of, I'm sure it's the 4th of August. Um, so if you're watching it on my blog early, jot it down, get it on your wish list and get ready to place the order for it on the 4th of August. And I'd love to see, if you get this stamp set and you do something fun, I'd love to see it. So you could always tag me. Um, come and find me over on Facebook. And you can tag me or you can email me. All my contact details are in the description in the box below. I am nearly there and I'm going to stop waffling, I promise. Wait, I told you my fussy cutting has got a little bit um not so fussy and more quite erratic <laughs> right let's lose some of this i really struggle with mess on my table so that's why i have to get rid of everything i'm getting a bit short of well, hey dimensionals so let's just pop some dimensionals on the back here two three i really would like a little something on his um mistletoe just so we anchor it down does anyone else use all the scraps up around their um 
around the back of their, around the edges, sorry, of their dimensionals. I can't waste anything. There's nothing wrong with this. I'm peeling off the backs of way. I can't believe I'm just putting them on the side there. They would normally go straight in the bin. Right. Way. So, Mr. Gnome is going to go here, there, and Mrs. Gnome is going to go there. I do need to do a grey Mrs. Gnome because I think she would look very cute grey. Right, I'm going to stick everything down now and then I'm going to add, I added just some little snowflakes. So, little runner Tombow all the way around the edge and just a little dash in the middle there. Lining that up nice and neatly. Gonna lay my card open at this point. I always just double check my cards open in the right way. <laughs> Nothing worse than doing all that hard work and then realizing your card is like back to front. I'm just lining that up. I just like the little hint of silver just poking through. Um, and then I'm going to just use some little snowflakes. So I'm going to just put some dots of Tombow, multi purpose adhesive. Put another one down there. And then I like to use my way. I've got a big bit out at the end my take your pick tool and I'm looking predominantly just for the snowflakes um, one I put two pots I had one pot that was nearly way I've got a little star underneath there I don't want that um, I had two pots of these one which was nearly um, empty whoops so I decided to decant them all into one, which it's not as easy to see way what there is in here now. And I'm picking up all sorts here and I just want snowflakes, but you might know because I just want snowflakes, everything is attaching to the end of the old take your pick tool. Whoops. And put enough glue down there. No. <laughs> Just put another little dot of glue. Off. My finger. Where's some more snowflakes? Right around the edge there. Two. <laughs> Why is it when you, if I wanted the, um, the little sequins, I'd be picking up snowflakes, wouldn't I? But because I just want snowflakes today, I'm getting everything but snowflakes. One more snowflake. Way off. There we go. So there it is, the finished card. How cute. I do need to fix that little line there. But I think if I hold my finger there, you don't know it's there. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you if you've held out to the end. That is, my, I think this is my longest video ever at 29 minutes. Um, but thank you for sticking with me. All my details and product details and everything is all in the description box at the bottom. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.